Hello everyone. We are ready to do our blind turn test in Asheville. I need to navigate a screw onto the right road. Now turn left onto Page Avenue. It's interesting how like the car doesn't like wake up right away. Like, I, I'm not even able to put it in full self-driving right now. No, I am. Person just decided to take the right away, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, that was a disengagement. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I went like high acceleration brake, low acceleration brake. <laughs> yeah, really interesting. Now turn right onto Hayward Street. Okay, kind of got in the right lane here, the correct lane, should I say? Which also happened to be the right lane, I suppose. Now turn left onto West Walnut Street. Not sure why it breaks so hard there. These are the types of scenarios where these last two versions are supposed to have a lot of improvements. Okay, so it made that fine. I had to give it a little bit of confidence, though. There are a lot of people. This is, um, this is Mon- Yeah, this is a Monday after Christmas, so I'm sure a lot of people are off. This is, might be the most people I've ever seen in Asheville. Um, I don't normally come up on the super busy times. Um, but yeah, this is pretty crazy, crazy amount of people. Wow, so it it rolled backwards up the hill. At least that's what it felt like it did. I don't know if I've ever had that happen before. This is definitely very challenging for it. What? Okay. Not... Sh it, oh, lady. <laughs> that dog was like walking in the middle of the road. Let's see if I can make this turn again. It's trying to do it. No. Okay, so it failed to do that turn, unfortunately. It's gonna be our first um, blind turn. We're gonna do, again, we're gonna do three left turns, and then we're gonna do two right turns. Now let's see how it does. Hopefully after my last video, they saw that and that seems to be better. Uh, again, that's the standard that every update has had that creeping behavior where it kind of creeps out a little bit, pauses, and then keeps on going from there. Let's see how it does. Turn left onto Reagan Avenue. Okay, um, that was just gonna run into the sidewalk, um, for sure. That was the worst that's ever done, um, at that turn. At least every other time, like, it would have, like, kind of gave up, left. if you will. Okay, so I predicted those people coming out, um. It's finally staying a little bit more right on the right side. No, don't do it. There you go. Stay towards the right side of the road. There you go. That's exactly what it should be doing. It's staying towards the right side of the road here. This this particular section of road right in here, it likes to always um, kind of go down the center unless there's another car coming. Don't turn left onto 
to see if it's gonna make it this time with a little bit less traffic or anything. No. Okay, so that definitely um, messed up that thing again, unfortunately. That's a, that's a clear regression on this version. The last two versions actually um, did that turn great. The last, uh, well, technically three versions, 10.5, 10.6 and 10.6.1 um wait a second I don't remember okay well at least the last two versions 10.5 and 10.6 um both did this turn well and you know 6.1 that's right we did 6.1 on here and so it's just that's a nice nice new feature we're gonna go take a right turn here but yeah it's just um it was doing it so well for two versions, and all of a sudden now it's just not doing it anymore. It's like I'm not exactly sure why. Now turn right onto Woodfin Street. Okay. It is having the right. The arrow is going to the right spot now. Oh, sorry, doggy. Okay, let's slow this down just a little bit. Pay attention on the screen when the cars appear. Now, can you can see the other car. Too late. Exactly why there's a good example. Camera button for that one. That's exactly why. And use the creep no, slow AF out of there. And I'm gonna keep on making this video until that happens. Feet, turn right onto West Walnut Street. What is this? person is trying to park here. But yeah, that right there is a perfect example of what the car can now do. Cars come flying down that road and my car cannot see it. It's literally a camera limitation of this car. And we're going to review that footage very closely and see how it works and I think I'm gonna make a dedicated video for that blind left or blind left turn scenarios just to show the limitation of this car it is clear if anyone says otherwise they are very very much ignorant uh, to the situation um, it cannot do every situation uh, with its current current yeah, camera setup that was a disengagement because of how sharply it tried to turn towards that car like right here I was like what's it doing <laughs> okay, so it could actually go, and it is going. I'm pressing the accelerator to give it a lot more confidence. Okay, clearly it messed up. Oh, I just had the left blinker on. Not sure why that was. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this turn again. Now your destination is on the left. I like how we can re-navigate to the same point. That's actually going to be very useful. I, I'm pretty sure that didn't work previously. Once I'm past this point, we're going to re-navigate to it. Hey, here we go. That's really useful. I'm pretty sure that's new with this version. Now turn right onto Woodfin Street. Yeah, we're good this time. It's just, it's just gonna give up. <laughs> if that car wasn't coming the last time we went around this turn, I'm pretty sure it would. It might have made it. The the tentacle was in the right spot. It was in the right spot, so I'm hoping it can make it. We can actually turn right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and push it forward a little bit. Um, there are cars coming. Okay, now it can go. You can go. Press and accelerate to give it a little bit more confidence. So. In 500 feet, turn right onto West Walnut Street. Okay, handle that truck and that guy right there well.
Seems to be turning on the blinker a little bit early, but that's okay. I don't know, like, it jerks the wheel to the left for some reason. I don't know why. No, okay. Now turn right onto Carolina Lane. So clearly it messed up on that turn again. Um, we got so many people here. Now your destination is on the left. Let's go ahead and reroute this back to going to do a couple left turns and then we'll be done with this test. I think we've got some good footage on this one, everyone. Um, let me know down below if um, uh, you would try these left turns. Uh, honestly, it's not, I think it seems a lot more dramatic in person, well, yeah, over the video than it really is. I mean, as a human, I can look forward, I can lean forward up and see. Oh crap, there's a car coming. Now turn left onto Woodfin Street. I'm not sure how this car got behind me, but okay. We might have to take over. What's it doing? It's turning right a little bit so I can see a little bit quicker with the left turn. Okay, just to be safe with the people right there. Go ahead and record that. I shouldn't even try going until these cars are passed. I'm not even sure the B-pillar can see that, those cars. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you had the reaction on that lady right there. This is a great day to test this. Okay. Now turn left on yeah, the that was, um... Okay, so it, it's still actually, I didn't even notice this at first, it still actually went too far back from the line. So it seems to be a little bit better with people on this road than it did previously. <laughs> it jerked away from the curve last second. I'm glad it did that. Um, I would almost rather have it do that, to be honest, than... Um, then uh, either give up or, or at all. Let's see, is it gonna cut this? So many more Teslas here than normal. You can tell it's, uh, this, this is obviously a tourist town and they're all driven by different people. Um, and so it's not like it's the same person we're going by. This is, um, this is, obviously you can see my previous videos if you have. Uh, I think this person was first. Okay. See, they, again, they waved me on. I'm pretty sure they were first. Obviously, I'll put a comment in the video if they weren't. But, um, that, that's a good example of, like, if you have a full self-driving car, I'm gonna have to disengage here. And use to get on the correct side of the road. But um, that's a good example of like, the car needs to be able to read hewing um, gestures. Like the person waved me on in the window. Uh, the car needs to be able to recognize that stuff. I, I think that's the least, level four can probably get away without doing that, but level five will not. It is imperative level five is capable of doing that. And I, I seriously, the more and more I think about it, level five needs to be essentially a basic level of AGI. Now turn left Carolina See, is he gonna make it this time? The, the, the stuff is right. It just doesn't want to turn. Now your destination is on the left. Yeah. We are gonna go one more time uh, through here and see how it does. I think we're getting some really good footage today and definitely I'm think about going one more time. But uh, I think we'll I think we'll keep it at uh, green too. We'll get a third right turn on the way back out once we go back around. Um, let's see, since we don't have a person behind us this time, we're gonna navigate back to Carolina Lane. And now, 
Yay waypoints. We're gonna go here. Now turn right onto Woodfin Street. Now turn left onto Woodfin Street. Now we can go in a loop without having to re-navigate. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, um, it shouldn't proceed towards the person. That was definitely a disengagement. Should not proceed towards people. Oh wow, and it should not do that. Not run by. It just kind of jut out. And we got people walking across the road. Not sure what happened there, like the brake pedal depressed. I'm having to press accelerate it. It seems really hesitant there for some reason. It speeds up. <laughs> no turn the person following closely behind me, so I'm having to hold the accelerator to make sure my car doesn't brake randomly. This is so weird how it just like, it's going slow and all of a sudden speed ups and slow again, speed ups and slow again. Uh, it's a new behavior at 10.8 for sure. This is new with this version. Uh, let's see if we go past it if it'll automatically. I just want to like. Yeah, I know we're at the destination. We got. I w wish we could just tap on it. Like, okay, proceed to next one. That, I think it's gonna happen in a future update. Making sure there's a lot more. This is a very good test. And the next test, make sure you subscribe. The next video coming out will be the downtown Asheville test. That's going to be a very good test with the, the amount of people. Holy crap. The amount of people in the cars. I'm not sure what's happening here. We're stopped way too far back. <laughs> Okay, well, clearly I was first, and this lady's like, nope, whatever. I'm not gonna count whatever that disengagement was. It's just not gonna do it. Now your destination is on the left. Okay, gonna record that there. This is going to be the end of this video, everyone. Um, yeah, some very good video, very good footage. I'm glad we really get that. Uh, if anyone has any questions about this, any comments, anything about how I recorded the video, put them down below. I'm always interested in seeing the comments down below. I might not always reply to everyone, but I do see them. I do see every single comment. Um, I will leave you there, and I will go on to the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.